summer, these boys brought us some of the best anthems, whether we were at the beach or partying it up. Some of their hit singles include Buzzin' and Corona and Lime. Who could it be? The one and only Shwayze. Now the boys are back with a brand new hit single, Get You Home, and a new album that drops November 3rd. Now let's go catch up with these Malibu party boys. Get You Home. Get You Home. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, get You Home, uh, you know, it's uh, it's an anthem about um, making love in the bathroom <laughs> when you're out in, in public. I felt, personally, that it was a little different than your last album, but it was more upbeat, more fun, made me want to dance and get out. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Okay, so the music video, actually saw in it, goes perfectly with the song. How fun was it making it? It was good. They cut out the part where we made love with all the girls in the bathroom, because <laughs> but the director's cut will be surfacing soon. Right. So um, you can get that online. Getting... Shout out to Rumor Willis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was uh, yeah, no, it was amazing. You know, it was a tie-in to Sorority Row the movie, which uh, so we got to do it with the whole cast right. um, and the director Stuart Hendler, which uh, was was just a fun experience and and, and really cool to get to. Um, I mean, he's a great director, and they're all great girls, so it was just a, it was a really fun time. It was a party. On your last <laughs> album, you guys came up with a handful of summer anthems for 2008. What can we expect with your new album? Uh, a handful of all different types of anthems, you know? Okay. Um, summer, um, but really, I, I think the, this new record just really accentuates like all of our different styles that we can put into one thing, you know what I mean? We have like classic rock to hip hop to dance electro to anything, you know what I mean? I think on this record we really uh, just wanted to be rounded and take the next step from the last record. Even though the last record was amazing, we just wanted to you know, improve and get better. Congratulations, you're going on tour with LMFAO. Well, we just got off our own tour and uh, that one starts on November 5th, I believe. And, and they're great friends of ours, so we just decided to jump on that tour and go have uh, an old school party like we like we used to just on the Sunset Strip, but take it uh, nationwide. Right. And that's two days after our record comes out, November 3rd. Oh, so it's gonna celebration. Be, it's going to be a celebration. It's a celebration. Yeah. Nice. Of sorts. So, Halloween is right around the corner. I'm sure you guys have some tricks up your sleeves. Do you guys know where you're going to be yet? I'm already dressed up. Whoa. Just kidding. I'm a monster. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I was just starting to think about that. Okay. I usually go very last minute on my costumes, but they still come out stellar. Yes. What have you been last year? What were you guys? Oh, well, last year was the best story of all time, if I can tell you. <laughs> last year we yeah. went to Katy Perry's birthday party, okay. which was on Halloween, I believe, or the night before. It was like uh, it was the night before. The night yeah. before, and and we got the invitation, and it said, "Dress up as your favorite dead celebrity." All right, so I I think I may have taken that wrong because I thought that you dressed up as your as a celebrity but made them dead. Right. When really it was supposed to be like Elvis or something <laughs> yeah. like that. So we showed up as all like, dead. He was Little Wayne dead. I was I was Edward Furlong dead just because that's all I could figure out. And my girl was Angelina Jolie dead. And we showed up and we're the only people like who, who are dead. Yes, blood everywhere, pale white faces, bruises. And like, but we looked the sickest though. We did, but I, and I think we saw one other group of people who were like, thought the same. You got it wrong, didn't you? Dead celebrity. Like last year, I was a pirate. So I'm gonna be a vampire this year. You're gonna be a vampire. Oh. Vampire. That's yep. sick. So you are on Twitter. Yes, we, we are. are. Okay. Yeah. At Swayze, at Mr. Cisco Adler, at us people. Yeah, we're always, you know, we do. We like to do this thing where like, every so often if we have a long ride or something, we'll just be like, for the next hour, we're answering all Twitters. You know what I mean? We get on and we talk to people and it's really cool because they, they love it, you know what I mean? They start flooding in and we, we try to answer everyone. Yeah, we try to do as much as we can as far as talking to our fans. We also have this uh, a phone that you can call, say now. Okay. And it connects to our actual phone and people call. We pick up and we know just holler at them and like you know what I mean it's good to get to the mind of your fans and just let them know that you actually that we're homies yeah we're you know homies. what I mean we're not we're not different right then you yeah. were probably much 
like you because you, we have connected on a musical level and like and a lifestyle. So let's chat. Let's talk. Right. Definitely. Call me. <laughs> Call him. <laughs> Do you guys have any last words? Anything you want to tell your fans out there? We're just really excited about this record, and uh, after the success of the last record, which sort of came out of the blue for, for people and also for us, because we just got together as friends, started making music over a summer, and it led us to here. Mm -hmm. So we're very excited to uh, to unleash this new beast on the on the world that we went in and, right. and worked very hard on, you know? Yeah. So look out for that November 3rd. and. Uh, yeah, we're going on tour with LMFAO. We'll see y'all somewhere across this nation. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. Thank, thank you for you. coming out to the booth. Yo, what's up, y'all? We're Swayze. And uh, you're watching StarPulse.com. Straight out of the booth. <laughs>